These are the pictures of a very royal photographer, Prince George and Princess Charlotte, as taken by Mum. And they've gone down so well, the Duchess of Cambridge has now been made an honorary member of the Royal Photographic Society. When you look at the picture, you smile. You don't look at anything else, only those children, and you smile. And nothing else matters, and she's done that brilliantly. Arthur Edwards has been photographing the royal family for 40 years, and he says there's a serious strategy behind the happy snaps, like George's first day at nursery a year ago. It's killed the paparazzi market. I mean, in fact, if only Harry would put a picture out himself with Meghan, that would kill the paparazzi market for that, which is now, which is now a vicious market. I mean, they're just every, everything and anything to get pictures of them too. But Catherine is doing it, and she's and doing it brilliantly, and she's got this gorgeous daughter, and, uh, and she just must see her all day long, laughing, giggling, um, and, and she's got her camera ready, and she's, and she's doing some cracking pictures. Now, one of the most photographed women in the world is joining quite a roll call of royal snappers. Right from Princess Alexandra, Victoria and Albert, obviously, up to more recently with people like Princess Margaret, Lord Snowden, um, and even Prince Andrew in the, in the 1980s. So there's a very long standing royal connection. However, there is one Middleton picture which didn't go down terribly well. The first and last public photo shoot conducted by Kate's father, Michael Middleton, in 2013. He got the light in the wrong place. He, he, under, he didn't expose for the highlights. He, you know, I could go on all day about this picture. And unfortunately, the only thing sharp in the picture is the dog. <laughs> uh, so if she'd have carried on listening to tips from her father, she wouldn't be getting this great honour. Well, it was a nice one of Lupo the Cocker Spaniel. But ever since, photographer Kate has been the one calling the shots. Simon Viger, Five News.